Hello again, I'm Blunty. These are some very cute girls. Konnichiwa, Wacky! This is Rome Kanda, the wacky host of a game show called I Survived a Japanese Game Show. And this is a game called Dodge Wall, which seems to be specifically designed to humiliate people. I'm told Rome here is a descendant of a samurai and is a good friend of Matt Damon. Good for him! So what do all these things have in common and why the hell am I here surrounded by camera crews for vapid morning TV shows who specialize in no-think entertainment? Well, this is all part of a competition that's happening here in Sydney tomorrow. Just to be clear, when I say tomorrow, I'm talking from my relative dis perspective as I record this. It will in fact be June 26, 2010. Where was I? Alright, this is all part of a competition going on tomorrow where folks can rock up to the pool in the Ivy Hotel in the centre of Sydney and do this crazy human dodge wall thingy for a chance to win a prize that includes a trip to Japan and taking part in the real deal Japanese game show Crazy Fun Time Happy Experience thingy. It's all sponsored by Telstra, as you can probably see by the logos up there. It's tied in with the new hotness of the HTC Desire mobile phone. And they're calling it the Telstra Sushi Plane. If you are in Sydney tomorrow and you want to come on and check it out and have a go, you can find out all you need to know about the competition at www.sushiplane.com.au. I'm just here because I think Japanese game shows are too wacky not to enjoy. There's no wankery, pretense or douchebaggery that comes along with Western game shows, which I hate with a fiery passion hotter than the devil's barbecue, in case you were wondering. The Japanese, however, just know how to kick dignity right in the balls and just go and have some damn fun for the sake of having fun. Also, these girls are really cute and that would have been enough to get me to come along anyway. Catch you next time. I am blunting. <laughs> <laughs>